So after your sacrificial run, you may move on to step four, single point measurement. To obtain a single point measurement, pretty much repeat what you did for the sacrificial run, except you want to save the data this time. Also, you want to make sure that the R square value that you're getting is either 0 0.999 or 1. Else, this can imply that there is still air bubbles in the chip and you will have to repeat the sacrificial run until the R square value approaches 1. So your R square values will be, uh, will be presented in the program as average slope fit R square. So just look at this value after your, after your run if it's you know less than 0 0.999 then you need to repeat your sacrificial run. And since our flow rate and measurement time are the same, you can just go ahead and click start. And press OK. And go ahead and save the data. So that was the end of our single point measurement, and we may proceed on to step 5, rate sweep measurement. This step is actually optional for those that want to conserve their um, sample, but in general, if you have plenty of sample, then you should run the rate sweep measurement since um, the rate sweep measurement step is a much faster way in generating data points um, in comparison to the single point measurement. So you can just go ahead and click on the Rate Sweep tab. So you can see it, it's right there on the left-hand corner, on the left-hand side. And go ahead and set the, your flow rate to be at 100, 300, 500, and 700 microliter per minute, or any other customized setting. Click Start. and you don't need to add more uh, flow rate that you wanted to do. And click OK to start measuring viscosity. So when the prompt for true viscosity correction appears, click No if your sample is Newtonian, meaning that the fluid's viscosity is constant at different shear rate. One quick way of knowing whether your sample is Newtonian or not is by reading your rate sweep viscosity data. So you can just go ahead and look at those viscosity data. If they are relatively similar, you bet that the sample is Newtonian. Otherwise, if you have a non-Newtonian sample, click yes for true viscosity correction. Since in this case, um, our sample is Newtonian, we can go ahead and click no for true viscosity measurement. And, you know, we would want to save our data. So. So that was the end of our race sweep measurement, and we may proceed on to step six, data interpretation. So I am just gonna go ahead and minimize our MVROC control program and open up our report for both single point and race sweep. So this is your single point measurement. And this is your rate sweep measurement. As you can see in both reports, you can see your viscosity value at, at both um, different temperature and um, different shear rate. Um, this demo was done without a temperature control. With additional temperature control, this protocol should yield accurate viscosity measurement that is within 2% of the true value. If you want to see the protocol, the file can be downloaded from the RealSense website, and the link will be on the sidebar. Thank you for watching.